Hey guys, welcome back to Clueless Crafts. Today we're going to be making a video based on a comment I received in a previous video. If you guys want to see something that you suggest, then just leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to listen. Hey, right, marbles. But let's get started. All right, so if we're making a vegetable garden, we're gonna need some dirt. So take a big ball of brown clay and roll it out. Now we're gonna give it some texture. I'm using a ball of aluminum foil, but if you don't have that, you can just use your brother's toothbrush. Once the texture on the dirt's all done, we're gonna add some grass along the edges. So we'll roll out some green clay and cut it to size. And you can make your vegetable garden any shape you want. I'm just going with a basic square. Now before adding the texture, I forgot to add some liquid Sculpey. So I'm just putting down a line of that underneath the grass. That way when it bakes, it'll be nice and secure. But back to the texture, I'm just taking a toothpick and making a bunch of little holes and kind of dragging it as well. Now once the grass is done, it's time to move on to our vegetables. I'm doing a row of carrots first, so just roll out little balls of orange clay and cut them in half. Once all of our carrots are cut, I'm just taking a knife and creating little lines for the ridges along the carrot. For the carrot greens, I'm rolling out a thin log of green clay, making sure the ends are tapered off. And then I'm just cutting off the end and creating a whole bunch of the tapered off ends. Once I have enough of them collected, I'm just attaching it to the top of the carrot head. You could also add the carrot greens individually, depending on whatever you find easier to do. And these are all the carrot tops done. And I'm just pouring out a blob of liquid Sculpey so I can dip the carrots in and place them on the dirt. Moving on to our next vegetable, I'm going to be making some eggplants. So just roll out a fat teardrop shape with purple clay. And for the stem, just taking off little tapered ends of a thin log and making a star shape on the top of the eggplant. And then using an extra piece for the stem on top of the leaves. Now just dipping it into liquid Sculpey and placing them on the dirt. Next up is lettuce. So we're taking light and dark green clay. The light green clay, we're gonna roll into a ball for the center. And the dark green clay, we're gonna be flattening it out into little petal-like pieces. And we're gonna be wrapping that around the ball. And we're just gonna do as many layers as necessary until it starts looking like an actual lettuce head. For me, it was a lot of layers. I'm also just cutting off the bottom of it so it doesn't stick up too much from the garden. And again, dipping it in liquid Sculpey before placing. Now as an easy one, we're going to make some potatoes. So just roll out irregular balls of brown clay. Now you can either use a toothpick or your brother's toothbrush to create the texture on the potatoes. dipping in the liquid Sculpey and placing them on the dirt. Now you could leave your garden like this, but I want a bit more height. So I'm also making a tomato plant. So I'm rolling out a bunch of balls of red clay and some vines with green clay. I'm going to use a toothpick and cut off the ends. And I'm just going to put some liquid Sculpey on it and wrap around the vines. Then adding more liquid Sculpey and adding on all the tomatoes. And just sticking that in the dirt and adding a few extra vines on top. I'm also making some yellow peppers. So just roll out a ball of yellow clay into kind of a fat cylinder shape. And we're gonna be making four lines along the sides and using a ballpoint tool to create a little indent on top. And that's where we'll put a little green stem. Then doing the same thing with a toothpick, covering it with vines, and adding more liquid Sculpey where we want to put our yellow peppers on. And 
then just placing that in the dirt again. I also decided to put a few of them on the ground since I had extra and didn't want to waste. And our garden is ready for baking. But if you want to make something extra, I thought adding a little watering can would be cute. So you can just start off with a ball of clay, roll it out into a cylinder, and flatten out the top and bottom. Then you can use a ballpoint tool to create an indent on the top. Now for the stem, I'm just rolling out a cone and cutting one end at an angle. And for the spout, just roll a little ball of clay, flatten it a bit, and use a toothpick to create little holes. Only thing left is the handle, so just roll out a little snake and add a little supporting piece in the middle. And this is ready to go in the oven as well. And this is the final product. I'm glad I was given this as a suggestion. It was really fun to make. But let me know what you guys think and if you have any ideas of what I should make next. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like on the video or a comment down below. But other than that, hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all later. Bye. Mabo say bye. She's busy.